something that I hear all the time, almost daily, is that I can't make a bow to save my life. But you know what? You can. I used to not like making bows, but now I want to make bows all the time. I wanted to come let you come along with me and make this bow. I have this pretty new nutcracker ribbon that we got in for our Etsy shop. And I wanted to show you how to make a pretty bow with it and how to put your colors together. The first thing that I have started doing, this is like a new thing that I've done, is I cut my tails and I do the tails first. So my tails has already been cut and put down here. Now I did the longest ones, I did eight inches for each side and then I went down to seven then to six because my sizes of my ribbon, as you see, graduate down. So I wanted to graduate down on the length of my tails. So then we're going to take our first ribbon, which is this pretty metallic gold, and this is an open weave and it's expandable. So even though it's a two and a half inch ribbon, you can expand it to that. And I think that is, let's see, it's about a four and a half, five inch wide. So we're going to start with that. We're going to put that down first. And I do use a bow maker because my hands, I can't hold all this ribbon in my hands. So this is not cheating. This is just using a tool that's available. So then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go out to about five and a half on that. And I'm gonna do, let's see, let's do, um, let's make this a big fat bow. So we're gonna do four loops of each thing. Okay, so we're gonna do four. Two, so that means two loops on each side. And then when you put it in, you want to twist it over because even though this is the same on both sides, you want to make that habit of twisting the ribbon so that the pretty side is facing up. Oh, I missed a piece there. Okay, that's so pretty. Then we're going to go next with our nutcracker. Just push that down in there. And twist it to where you're, when you flip your loop, your pretty side is going to be facing up. Pretty side goes down on the bottom of the loop, up on the top of the loop. And we're going to go just a little bit shorter than the six inches here. We'll twist it. And we're going to do four loops. So there'll be two loops on each side, remember. I started doing my tails first because it helps the bow lay prettier doing it like that. It doesn't make it quite as thick. So then next we're going to do this pretty pink with the glitter. And we're going to go a little bit shorter yet again on this. And I think I'm going to do, um, let's do two loops. We'll do two loops of the smaller ones. No, we'll go ahead and do four loops. And then we'll do two loops of the really skinny one. This one is an inch and a half. And then we have one that is five eighths. It's going to be the center of it. And we'll do our button loop um, out of it. So this one, look how pretty that is. I love that. So we'll do that one here. And we're going to do three loops. Again, we're going to go a little bit shorter. And twist that. Do we want to do three? No, we're going to do four. We're going to do four loops of all of them. And then after you do your last ribbon here on the top, we're going to do a button loop. So that just means that you're going to do just about a half of what that top loop is. So that's going to be about... About an inch, I guess. Yep, about an inch to make your button loop. And that button loop is just what the center of your bow is going to be. Okay, so there's all of our ribbons. We got that on there. And I use binding wire. Comes in a roll like this. And I use that to um, tie my bows all together. I usually cut it about 34 inches. And because we sell these, these um, pre-made bows, and I want, I'm not sure what use the person is going to do with the bow. So I want them to have a lot of extra um, wire to attach to their mailbox or their wreath or their sign or whatever 
they choose to use it on. Okay, so we'll just I'll put that on there, tighten that up, pull it together, cinch it as much as you can with your hand, then pull it off, and that's going to stay like that. But I'm going to put a little bit more pressure to tighten that up, and then pull them apart. Pull them, do a little, I guess that would be called a slip knot, kind of like when you start to tie your shoe. Do like that, I'll do that twice, and then I'll do it on the back. And that's going to make that bow nice and secure to where when we go to poof it, we can manhandle it and make them little loops big and nice and fluffy. So when you're doing this part and you're twisting, you want to twist the bow, not the wire. And that'll make your bow nice and secure. And see, then we still have about 12 inches of that wire to attach to anything, okay? So then now we have our bow. So you just have to do, do a little bit of poofing. And then we'll see what our finished project looks like. So tell me down in the comments, do you love to make bows? Do you love, would you rather have a pre-made bow? Or um, do you like to make them? I love um, making bows. Like I said, I used to did not like making bows, but I've gotten to where I love it. I'm obsessed with ribbon. I have a whole ribbon wall behind the camera over there. And um, I just enjoy it. I love all the pretty colors. I love mixing all the designs. And this again is gonna be that expandable. So we're gonna pull that out because we want that gold that's on our back of our bow. We want that to pop. So we're gonna expand those out. Also tell me if you're, if you're willing to give this a try. If you have any questions, just reach out. I'm happy to help any way that I can. I can poof and poof and poof the bow, but I'm not going to because I want you to see what it looks like. So you can get off of here and go make a bow too. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty with that nutcracker ribbon? So pretty. There we go. Have a great day. Bye.